Hello and welcome to video number seven and we're going to talk about user interface design. So once you have a visual flow chart or map of what your software will do, it's time to work on the user interface, which is what the user is going to see. So the flow chart really was for you to understand and for the programmer to understand, but the user interface is also for the programmer and so that you have an idea of how things are going to be laid out and all of that. So creating this along with a flow chart will allow you to connect the visual dots, thus creating better specifications for the programmer to understand. So to do this, you're going to need to have an image editor or other tools. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you how. Okay, so this is kind of going to be the fun part because you get to actually create the user interface, which is what the user is going to see. So. If we go back to Lucid Chart over here, we saw that we, we color coded everything just to make it easier. If you think about it, if you, we didn't color code it, it would be hard to figure out what is happening. So we can see that the user comes in, they obviously see the WordPress plugin, and what we need to figure out is what they're going to see. All right. So obviously the programmer, if they get, have CSS and a little bit of design, and if they've developed WordPress plugins in the past, they are pretty much going to be able to figure this out. But you do want to give them some guidelines, but you don't want to say, hey, you have to do this, but you want to give them some structure so that they have an idea of what you're looking for. Because otherwise what happens a lot of times is even with website development or any project development is a lot of times people say, I want this, but they're thinking this, well, then the programmer is thinking something totally different. So you want to make sure that you are able to make sure that they're on the same page. All right. So we come back here and this is what the user sees, the WordPress plugin. They see a list of campaigns. They have the ability to create new campaigns and they name the campaign. They find the hot content. So if I go through here, it's pretty, pretty easy. In fact, most programmers should be able to figure this part out, this, this, and this. Now we just want to make it, like I said, just to make sure that we're hundred percent on the same page. So what do we want people to see when they first see the WordPress plugin? Maybe they see the list of campaigns and maybe they see the ability to create new campaigns. So let's write that down. So I want you to open up paint or whatever you want to use. Let's just use paint because that's the bare bone minimum. If I can use paint, you should be able to use paint or something else. All right. So usually when you come to a site, let's see here. I haven't used paint in a while, but you normally, Let's use this here. Let's see what happens. Okay. So normally you enter a box like this. And then of course you see the left hand side with a WordPress plugin as the menu bar. And normally you see like the plugin, you know, information here. And then of course you see like, you know, the top bar. And then, and then of course the main part is right here. So maybe we'll make this red and actually yeah we'll just keep it black all right so within here itself we have the options here so maybe the menu bar here we could say menu bar so i'm going to make an arrow here and the menu bar, they should have the ability to see a list campaigns, create new campaign. And, you know, don't worry if you, you can't figure it out or you're like, okay, how is this whole process going to work? Do I need to create a short code? Do I need to do this? 
don't worry about it. I would allow the programmer to do that, but you're just trying to get an idea for yourself what you're expecting. But over here, we can see list campaigns. Maybe they see the name of plugin. And then inside here, we have, let's say they click here. Let's see here. Um, let's say the welcome screen, you have a welcome screen. So welcome screen. And depends on you what you want to put on the welcome screen, that's fine. But let's say that they have the option to choose the list campaigns, create new campaign over here. So that's going to be a totally different screen. Next, so let's see what we're going to do here. Next, I'm going to open up a new window. So that's going to be screen one, the welcome screen. All right. So now we're going to be focusing in on that little box. So I'm going to open up a brand new window and we're going to put a box here. This is what they're going to see. Now, if they click on create new campaign or let's say this, they're going to click on list campaign. So I'm going to type list campaigns. And let's see, we're not going to focus on the menu bar. We're just going to focus on the, the main box kind of thing. So let's go back over here. List campaigns. So what do they see? Maybe they see statistics. Maybe they see a list of campaigns. What do they see? So we're going to say, all right, we'll do that. You know what? I'm just going to make a menu bar. So it's just easier. Here they see campaign one, campaign two. campaign three, campaign four, and they should have the ability to edit each campaign. So that should be that. And then let's type in pain again. Now all these are easy, but when it comes to actually implementing the other parts, let's see. So that's easy. List campaigns, create new campaign and so we have create new campaign. Let's do create new campaign. So you might be thinking, why am I doing this? Well, it's, I just told you the reason, but it's, it'll make life easier, a lot easier for you later on. So. All right. So create campaigns. This part's going to be a little bit more elaborate. Create campaign. So maybe there's a box for, let's see, campaign name. Let's see what else here. We don't need that for now. Move back here. Okay. So name campaign then find hot content, but then they need to enter the keyword to do that. So name campaign, and then maybe keyword, enter keyword. So maybe we have a box like a form field here, and then maybe there's a form field here for the keyword. All right. So we enter the keyword here they enter the enter button. So let's see, maybe there's an enter button. So we'll just make the star as like the enter button or something. They click the star and then it produces the content. So from here, maybe there's a progress bar. And the progress bar is here and moves around like, oops. 
like that. Make it blue, like that. So as we're waiting, the progress bar is there because it does take time to go out and scrape content. So maybe the progress bar is good. So it just makes the user think that it's actually collecting data. So you do that. And then after that, we go back over here. Then Google it goes to Google, enters the keyword. So now this is what the user sees, right? This is all the background. So user doesn't even see what's going on here. All right. So because we know it's green and blue, we can skip all the way to the green. So next, the user sees a list of hot topics and picks. So maybe after that, we could say, here's the list right here. So maybe they see a list here, a large list, and they can choose or they can select which ones they want. So maybe there's like a, a radio or checkout checkbox or something where they can select the hot topic that they want. They select it. And then, of course, the next screen would be it actually copies the content to the WordPress block. So how does that look like? Well, maybe it automatically does that. I don't know, but that's really between you and the programmer, but the programmer should be able to figure all that out. So that's not something that you really have to worry about. So what I would do next is I would just, you know, copy this and save these to your computer and you're pretty much good to go. Now I'm not going to close all these out because we're going to need this in the future video when we put together the final specifications and the final contract. And we'll see you there.